Terragon Pro or Terragon Mini? This comparison between the Pro and the Mini might not be fair as both massagers are in different categories. But I thought it would be fun to put them side by side and see where they are lacking and where they excel. The Terragon Pro has two colors, blue or red, with a stall force of 60 pounds and an amplitude of 16 millimeters. The Terragon Mini has three colors, 20 pounds of stall force and an amplitude of 12 millimeters. Both massagers deliver percussive therapy. The first difference that stands out besides the shape and size of both devices is the amplitude of each. The higher the amplitude, the deeper the massage is going to be. This means that the mini does not go as deep as the pro does. With a stall force of 20 pounds, the Mini also cannot sustain a strong enough pressure on the area to treat. Indeed, a force above 20 pounds will make the motor stop. The Pro, on the other hand, goes 60% deeper, at least as advertised on the TerraBody website, and this allows it to reach those deep tissues really well. The Terragon Pro does come with six head attachments. Both the Pro and the Mini have a battery that lasts 150 minutes per charge. But the Pro does take the lead over the Mini in this category as well, as it comes with not just a removable battery, but also two of them. This is a big plus because you have the opportunity to never run out of battery when you need a massage. All you have to make sure of is that both batteries are always charged so that you could switch when needed. A removable battery is also a big plus in the event that the battery becomes damaged. With the Pro, you just don't have an extra battery, but also you can obtain more. With the Mini, when the battery is damaged, the massager is done for and you will need to replace the entire unit. As far as the noise is concerned, both the Pro and the Mini are built with a motor that uses quiet force technology. The Pro being a bigger model does have a bigger and more powerful motor, which means that it is also louder than the Mini. And to demonstrate, I'm going to have both of them turned on and brought closer to the microphone so that you could judge or hear yourself. And I want to also note that the Pro comes with five speeds while the Mini has three but I will make sure that I will put them at the same speed as I compare. That means that with the Pro, I will run only three speeds. Here we go with the Mini. We are at level one, which is speed of 1750 percussion per minute. Now the Pro at 1750 percussions per minute. Now level 2 at 2100 percussion per minute. The Mini. and the Pro twenty four hundred percussion per minute the Mini the Pro It is also to note that each device does get louder with the speed level, which means that the higher the speed level, the louder each device will get. Both the Pro and the Mini come in some sort of carry case or carry bag. The Terragon Pro does have this 
carry case which is sturdy and very well built while the Terragon Mini comes in this gel push. When Terabody released the new massagers in May 2020, they also released the Terabody app, which has routines to follow while using the massager. However, the Mini does not have Bluetooth connectivity or any smart feature. The app is still useful in this case with easy to follow routine. The Pro does come with smart features including Bluetooth connectivity. Within the app, you can use the preset treatment on yourself or you can enter your own. Though the Pro has five set speeds, the Therabody app lets you select any speed between 1750 percussion per minute and 2400 percussion per minute. Another advantage that the Pro has that the Mini does not is the ability to rotate the arm. Indeed, the Pro's arm can be set to four different positions, making it target every muscle from virtually any angle. Last but not least, the Pro also has the ability to charge wirelessly. As far as the price is concerned, the Terragon Mini costs 199 US dollars, while the Pro costs 599 dollars. At 199 US dollars, the Mini is definitely the cheapest Terragon on the market, at least at this time. And if you want a Terragon just for the sake of owning a massage gun with that name, then the Mini will be for you. This doesn't mean that the Mini is to be discarded besides that. It does provide good massage whether at home or on the go. However, if you are a high performing athlete for instance, then the Mini is not for you as it will not deliver you the deeper massage that you need for proper recovery. Both the Pro and the Mini have good feature. Again, they are in different categories, but they complement each other. The Pro is suited for everybody whether you lead a sedentary life or are an athlete. It comes well packaged and well loaded. The smart features and the rotating arm are the icing on the cake. However, 599 US dollars might be overpriced depending on where you stand as expensive is subjective. On the other hand, with the kind of budget that Therabody have, they can afford to position themselves as leaders in the massage gun industry and therefore price their products as high or low as they want. Unlike the Pro, the Mini is not for everybody. It is for you if you are a beginner with massage guns or you lead a sedentary lifestyle or exercise somehow to keep healthy. Because of the 20 pounds stall force, the Mini is definitely not for high performing athletes as it will not deliver the deep massage that they need for proper recovery. One may think that Terragons are overpriced in general compared to other massagers on the market. While that may be true to some extent, it is also true that Terragons delivers percussive therapy, while most massagers on the market deliver vibration therapy. Both Terragon Pro and Mini are great percussive massagers and they can be owned together to complement each other. The Mini is definitely a good companion to his biggest brother, the Pro. Thanks for tuning in and see you in the next video.